Hey everyone, Chef Shea Bear here. Today we're going to be doing a walk Wednesday, but we're going to be doing something real easy. We're just going to be making some beef stew in the walk. So I'm going to show you what we got here and how we're going to make it. It's real simple. It's not really a recipe, I would say, but I guess you can call it that. But we're just going to throw some stuff together. We're going to make a beef stew. So stick around. It's going to be fun. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you some of the ingredients I've got here. I've got some I've got some uh, beef boiling cube, which is just this, this stuff here. Got some seasoned salt, just some Lowry seasoned salt. We have some garlic and pepper. We have some lemon pepper. And one of my favorite is the complete seasoning. This is good stuff here. And of course, we got a couple of these, just beef broth. Uh, you can use unsalted, you can use, you know, uh, what's the other stuff? The stock, same thing. <clears throat> Some of this. This will help thicken it up if I need to. Um, but I've also got, uh, I just got carrots, potatoes, and the meat. The meat is um, lean stew meat. It's boneless, so um, got a couple pounds of that here. And what I did was let it set for about a half an hour with the um, with the cornstarch. Mixed it up real well. That helps thicken up. I did the same thing with the potatoes. Cornstarch, and then I didn't do anything with the carrots. We're just gonna dump them in there when it's time. So let me get you pointed down here. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not a real chef. It's just a little catchy name for these videos. <laughs> chef Shea Bear. I like to cook, but I'm not a real chef. So and I like to do some easy stuff. Most of the stuff I do is easy because that's what most people want, you know, that, that don't know how to cook or whatever. Um, you know, I, I, I can make a chocolate mousse, I can, you know, do flame and, you know, I can do all that stuff, but <clears throat> my videos are about, you know, the real world, real people, you know, that just want to throw something together. Um, so I'm going to do this in a walk, that's why it's on a walk Wednesday. So let me get you down here, point it at the walk, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to let this heat up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to give it a little bit of oil. This is olive oil. Monkey likes that, so I use that most of the time. I'm not going to put any salt in this because, you know, it's got a lot of beef broth, which has salt in it already. And we got to kind of watch, you know, their salt intake. So, because her and her mom are getting old, you see. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway so let me get this heated up and then we'll put the meat in what we're going to do is just kind of brown it up a little bit it won't take that long and then we'll take it out and um, then we'll start adding some broth or seasonings and then we'll put the potatoes the carrots and the meat in and then we're going to let the simmer for you know however long it takes until I usually go until the potatoes and carrots are done then you'll be done you should be good to go by that rule of thumb um, so I can't really give you an idea but you don't want to overcook it because then your potatoes just kind of fall apart and turn to mush so let me get this heated up okay so now I'm just gonna let's see if it's there we go you want to get a little sizzle I'm gonna put that in there and I'm going to clean this out because we're going to take this back out once this is browned up. It doesn't have to be super brown because it's going to cook, guys. I just kind of give it a little searing. Searing, is that a word? Sear it a little bit. I can find my...
Now right now, I am going to add some of this seasoning. So it'll kind of get into the meat. We'll add some more of this stuff later. Now we're going to add some garlic and pepper. Now remember guys, this is your recipe. You don't have to use any of this stuff if you don't want. Got a little bit of uh, that crushed up bouillon cube, the beef. Use chicken if you want. I've used chicken in, in uh, this before. It's fine. Whatever your taste buds. This is just kind of a... Um, we have used beef tips and they're a lot more expensive and they're really tough. Beef tips are tough unless you cook them forever and ever and ever and then by the time they get tender your potatoes are gone. I'm going to add one more thing to this. Just a little bit of this stuff. It's not going to take a lot. Yeah, that was a little bit more than what I wanted, but that's okay. That's about, you know, two tablespoons there. I, I normally use about a tablespoon, but that's okay. It'll, it'll be all right once we get this going. Don't worry about the stuff on the bottom because that's gonna that's gonna flavor this once we get once we get this browned up. So let me let me get my bowl washed up here. You know we don't want any cross contamination, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, now as you can see kind of browned up a little bit. It is by no means done at all, but it will get done once it stews in here for about an hour and a half. So I'm going to take this out, then I'm going to make like a little gravy in here. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. And then we'll put everything back in, potatoes, carrots, and then we'll season it up. Now this is a lot of meat, guys. Usually you would do two pounds. I'm doing almost four pounds, but there's three of us, so... And when I make stuff in the wok, they they like to eat it up pretty good. Right, Mama? Yeah. Haven't done a wok Wednesday in a while, but trust me, this wok is being used, what, a couple times a week? Probably three, on an average, three times a week. Because oh, yeah. sometimes I'll use it four times or five times. Sometimes I only use it once or twice in a week. It just depends on what we're in the mood for, but it averages three to four times a week is what this walk is being used. So, thank you, Brian and Marla. They sent me this walk. Okay, so we're going to dump a little bit of this beef broth in here. This is pretty cool. This lid has little cutters in it. Because when I first used this, they didn't, I didn't know, and I thought it was already open. So, we're going to. Dump some of this in here, and I'm just going to get this scraped up off the bottom of here. Makes a nice gravy. I'm not really going to make a roux. I am going to add some um, some sour cream to it here after a bit. Not right at the moment, but so I forgot to mention that I am going to add some sour cream, and you can feel when that bottom starts getting nice and smooth you know you pretty much got most of it let's put a little bit more in here you may need to add some as you're cooking if it acts like it's wanting to dry out um, that's why I got two boxes of it normally one box or even a half a box might do you if you're only going to cook a pound or two it's not going to take all this but and I cook a lot too so that looks pretty good there. Now we're going to dump this back in. Just like that. And I'm going to set this over here. Now, I'm going to add some seasoning now. I'm going to add some more of this uh, garlic and pepper. And of course, real garlic or even minced garlic in the jar 
is always a good thing to have. <clears throat> but I think my garlic is sprouting. <laughs> so, I think so, yeah. So I'm going to use quite a bit of this stuff. Like I said, I'm not really giving you... I mean, there's recipes online for this. Now, I didn't show you cutting... I didn't show you me cutting up the uh, the potatoes and carrots because, well, you know, frankly, that's pretty boring. Now, if you do want to see that, if you want to see carrots and potatoes being cut up on a boring video, look on the internet. I'm sure it's there, but <laughs> I'm not going to do it here. Sometimes I do, but, you know, I just, to me, I think that's boring. I mean, <laughs> but, so we're going to go ahead... We're going to dump our potatoes in here. There is eight kind of small potatoes. Um, I use four carrots again. More or less or none if you don't want it. Okay, so that's that. And I'm going to give it a little stir here. A lot of meat in here. We like a lot of meat, don't we, Mama? Well, I do. I eat, I eat more meat than they do. But. So, now I'm going to take this box. There we go. That seal keeps blocking the hole off. And also, like I said, the cornstarch that are on the potatoes and meat, that'll help thicken this up into more of a stew than a soup. And if it's still not as thick as you want, add some more cornstarch. I have used flour before. Just make sure if you use flour, just make sure you sift it. Like I said, that meat will cook. By the time these potatoes and carrots are done, that meat will be done as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then get some of this in here. Ooh, I like a lot of flavor, guys. And uh, once this comes to a boil, I'll get it turned down and we're going to simmer it for, you know, an hour, hour and a half, maybe two. It just depends, just like you would a, uh, like a chili or, you know, homemade um, vegetable soup, um, homemade chicken noodle soup, things like that. So I used a whole box of this, just like that. Now, like I said, let me bring this to a boil, then I'll get it turned down to, uh, to a simmer, and then I'll show you how it's going to simmer, and then we'll let it simmer for... For a while and just stirring occasionally okay let me bring this up to a boil okay so I moved you over well I moved the, the pot over to the bigger burner because I you know this is cast iron and there's a lot of food in here so I needed a little more heat so but I won't put a lid on this but that's about what you want you just want a little a little simmer. I'm gonna put our lid on there. Again, if you need to thin it out, you can always use water. You can use uh, red wine to thin it out if you, if you have to. Or you can just put some red wine in there just for the heck of it, you know? Um, so, and Remember guys, the alcohol cooks out. Anytime you use wine or whiskey or beer to cook something, uh, the alcohol will cook out of it. It's just, it's just for flavoring is all that's going to do. So, you know, you can put some red wine in here and once this is done and cooked, you know, your kids can eat it. It'll be fine. They're not going to be alcoholics because there's not going to be any alcohol in it. Just make sure they don't get it before you put it in there. <laughs> all right, guys. So... Let's let this simmer up for a while, and then I'll be back with you. Let's check it out together. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> it's been about 50 minutes. I've been coming out every few minutes and stirring it up. 
you know, just so it doesn't stick. It's thickening up nicely. If you want to get it thicker, again, you know, you can add some more. You can add some flour. You can add some uh, cornstarch. You can cook it a little bit with the lid off. Now I'm going to add some uh, the sour cream here. I'm going to put, oh, probably half a cup in here. Maybe three quarters of a cup. <clears throat> I'm going to mix this up. Real good. May add a little bit more later. I'll have to, you know, taste it and see. But I'm going to mix this up real good. Then I'm going to let it boil. Oh, not boil, but, uh, you know, simmer for about another 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'll, I'll try it. Now I'll make sure the consistencies, you know, I want it thick. I don't want it thin like a soup, because this is a stew. I want it, I want it thinner than what it is now. Uh, this stuff will help thicken it out too. But again, it's your preference. If you like it a little thinner, go for it. By all means. I did move it back over on this side now because I didn't need as need as much heat. I'm making a mess there. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, let this um, simmer a little longer and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, so there we go. What I did was I took the lid off to let it thicken up. That's the consistency I was looking for right there. I took the lid off and this being an electric stove you know the burner stays hot for a while so I took the lid off turned the oven off or the stove off and then um, just let it set on here for about five minutes you know if you have a uh, gas stove you know you're not gonna be able to do that but it's just what I did nice all right put some of this in a bowl for monkey and then we'll get her out here Mmm, try it out. Yummy. Let's go get monkey. Okay, we got monkey out here. Gonna sample this for us. She's had my beef stew before, but this is just an easier way of doing it without being fancy and careful it's hot. Very hot. So, yeah, real simple. Throw it in there, stir it every once in a while. Good? Mm-hmm. There you go. Done? Mm hmm There you go. Simple and easy, huh, Mama? Yep. It's gonna be filling. Add, subtract, do whatever you want to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Some people put corn and peas and green beans in it, but I just usually just use uh, carrots and potatoes is what I use in it, so yep. I think she's ready to eat. Yep. I see she, she's got a big old loaf of bread over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, alright guys, appreciate it, Monk. Very good, babe. Mm -hmm. Gotta eat now. Okay. Monk says she's up. Bye, y'all. <laughs> she just had a nap. Yeah. I woke her up. Yeah. And Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's been Chef Shea Bear with another episode of Chef Shea Bear. <laughs> <laughs> the Met the Man Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye bye guys and take care. Bye y'all.